and thank you. Thank you for being here today. And thank you, Governor Prisker, uh, member of the General Assembly, labor representative, and our friends here in Southern Illinois, including our host here at the Benton Municipal Airport. Thank you for having us. To start with, I would like to recognize uh, some key IDOT staff here. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm Omar Osman. I'm the Secretary of Transportation. So I'd like to recognize some key IDOT staff uh, from our District 9 who are working uh, on this project. I do have my Director of Highways, Chief Engineer here with me, Steve Travia. And a lot of you know uh, our Region 5 Engineer, Keith Roberts. Karen Nelson is a very popular name here in the district. She is the program development engineer and she's got her entire staff who actually worked on, on this particular contract or, or project. And that includes, I think, Charles Stein, Charles Stein might be here, uh, Valerie Roller, and Lisa Daly, and Doug Kern. And also, we do have Doug Halfrich who is the acting uh, project implementation engineer. Karen Stark is here. She is the supervising, uh, supervising field engineer. And Jenny Sneed, whom you're gonna see a lot over the next few years, she is the resident engineer on this job. And of course, I would like to mention uh, the prime contractor. The prime contractor on this, on this uh, particular contract is E.T. Simon, and I think Beck Simon might be here, and if you are, Thank you uh, for what you do for this, uh, for the district and for this region. And I would like to also acknowledge that when this construction project goes underway, we will be joined by John A. Logan College students participating in our Highway Construction Careers Training Program, SCCTP. This project is going to give them a leg up on getting the experience they need to begin a lifelong career in the construction trade. We are standing next to one of the most critical pieces piece of infrastructure for Illinois and an important travel and freight corridor for the entire country. I-57 serves almost 40,000 vehicles a day in Southern Illinois nearly 30% of which are trucks. Communities up and down this corridor rely on I-57 for economic development and activities in the form of sales tax, fuel sales, and the ability to connect jobs and families. But the existing stretch of the interstate has become known for underperforming in recent years. When an accident occurs that impact traffic, congestion, delays, and gridlock spills over into the surrounding communities. At IDOT prior to this governor, we managed with existing resources over the years. We added lands in Mount Vernon, north of Marion, and a section currently underway at West Frankfort. Progress was slow. The attention I-74 really needed was not going to happen without vision and leadership. Rebuild Illinois, the bipartisan capital program passed by the General Assembly and signed by our governor, Governor Prisker in 2019, was a game changer for the region. When we are finished, more than $230 million will have been invested in I in I-57 through Rebuild Illinois to add lanes and make critical safety improvements over 26 miles from just north of West Frankfort to the interchange with I-64 uh, I near Mount Vernon. Rebuild Illinois is the largest and the first truly multimodal capital program in state history. It it does actually put IDOT back in the business of building a premier transportation system for Illinois. Two years after it passed, we have major projects completed or coming to life in every corner of the state. Today, with the start of construction in this next phase of I-57, we have more proof 
that of that right here in Benton. Lastly, though, I would like to remind the public this is going to remain an active work zone for the next several years. Be patient. You slow down when you approach and drive through work zone. Put down the devices. Keep your eye, keep your eyes on the road, and please pardon our dust while we rebuild Illinois. I do look forward to coming uh, back here for ribbon cutting pretty soon. And with that, I do have the privilege um, of introducing Governor Prisker, whom I consider to be a, a true champion of infrastructure. So, Governor. Thank you, Lady Chairman. Thank you. Well, thank you very much to Secretary Osman. Uh, thank you to your team in Region 9. Thank you for all the work that you are doing, really incredible work for the people of Illinois. Uh, what a great day it is today, uh, not only because uh, we managed to get a bright sunny day, but, but also because of what we're here to celebrate. Uh, I want to recognize the uh, men and women of organized labor and their leaders, Tate Wright, the Secretary Treasurer of the Egyptian Building Trades, Jerry Womack of the Laborers. Uh, we couldn't do any of this without the high quality work that makes these highways the best built in America. Senator Dale Fowler and Representative Dave Severin, thank you for joining us to kick off another exciting expansion of economic development for Southern Illinois. Before we get to today's news, uh, West Frankfurt was hit with a tornado this past weekend, leaving damage to homes and businesses and power lines. It's a blessing that no one was injured or killed. And uh, I want to make sure everybody knows that as you recover, the State Emergency Management Agency is continuing to support the city and the county uh, emergency management personnel. And I'll work to support investments in rebuilding the damaged infrastructure to make sure that it's even more resilient in the future. And the future is what we're focused on today. A key roadway for commuters and commerce alike. I-57 supports an average of 40,000 drivers and over 14,000 large trucks per day. It's a vital roadway that is key to unlocking more economic opportunity in Franklin County and across Southern Illinois. But as the region has grown, the road's capacity has fallen behind. Nobody should have to be nervous to make a trip because of a road's reputation for dangerous congestion. Filling these critical gaps and building for an expanding economic future is the purpose, the real purpose, behind Rebuild Illinois, the largest infrastructure program in the entire nation. That's why today I'm very proud to announce the most significant investment in I-57 since its original development. This major upgrade comes after we've already successfully completed a six lane expansion along the Johnson City stretch of I-57 in 2020 and launched the ongoing West Frankfurt renovations. Thanks to Rebuild Illinois, we're unlocking the federal funding necessary to take this stretch from a four to a six lane highway enhancing creativity, uh, safety, uh, creating jobs, improving the reliability of the freight network, and supporting the economic development uh, potential of this entire region. We're not only expanding and resurfacing miles of I-57's roadways, but we're also replacing outdated bridges, which are over 50 years old, and building new structures over the middle fork of the Big Muddy River. This isn't just about the hundreds of construction jobs that this will mean for Southern Illinois. Dependable infrastructure means safer and more efficient travel for our nation's freight network, laying the foundation for jobs and economic development along I-57 and this entire corridor and beyond. When we make smart investments in the roadways that working families and businesses rely upon, we're constructing a better future 
for the entire region, one where working parents and their children can commute with confidence, and where factories and distribution centers can efficiently ship their products. We're rebuilding and modernizing roads and bridges and river ports all across Illinois. It's one reason why CNBC named Illinois number one in infrastructure. I'm very proud of that, uh, of that uh, ranking, and it's something that is well-deserved as Omar Osman, the secretary, and his team are truly rebuilding everything across the state of Illinois in our infrastructure. We're building our future with ambition, efficiency, and purpose all across the state. And I'm really thrilled to welcome the future today on this stretch of I-57. So I thank you, and with that, I'd like to turn it over to a friend and someone who helped to find bipartisan support for this law, Senator Dale Fallon. Senator? Thank you, Governor. Uh, thank you for being here again. Uh, thank you for your support of infrastructure and economic development uh, right here in Southern Illinois, also known as God's country. Secretary Osmond, thank you so much for uh, your passion uh, in helping us uh, with our infrastructure needs here in Southern Illinois. Department of Transportation, can't thank you enough. Organized labor, uh, congratulations. And to the, the citizens of Southern Illinois, congratulations. Today we celebrate a long-standing continuing vision to improve and revitalize Illinois' roadways. As a member of the State Senate and Senate Transportation Committee, I am honored to stand before you as we pave the way for a better and safer roads like right here on Interstate 57. Today's ceremony is an example of good bipartisanship work between both the federal and state government. As we approach the holiday season, more than ever, we pray for each other's health and safety during this extremely busy time of construction. Too many times on this stretch of roadway, people have died or have been seriously injured in multiple crashes. It is safe to say highway travel, whether it be by car, bus, or freight, is increasing daily. Well, I welcome everyone to Southern Illinois. We have a responsibility to recognize these highly congested areas that pose serious risk to those on our roadways, to not only make sure travelers make it home to their families this holiday season, but in all walks of life as well. By investing in Illinois infrastructure, we are investing in jobs. We're investing in our local economy which will continue, will continue to put Southern Illinois on the map for many years to come. Thank you so very much. This is a great day in Southern Illinois, and I would like to turn it over to my good friend, Representative Dave Severin. Thank you, Senator Fowler, and uh, appreciate all of you being here today. This is actually my my home, I've lived in Benton my entire life, and right behind me, two blocks behind me, is, uh, is my home where I, my wife and I live, and uh, I talked to her about inviting you all over for breakfast this morning, and uh, as you know, you didn't get the invitation, so I apologize for that. But before we get any further, I gotta have a selfie, if you don't mind. Everybody smile real big. Thank you very much. There's something that we didn't talk about that I wanna share with, a little bit about with, to, with, with you this morning is this that uh, I'm the chairman of the Tourism Committee in the House, and uh, we talked about safety, we talked about the jobs, we talked about all the different things going on, but pe as people travel through Southern Illinois, and they come to Southern Illinois, it's very important that we have safe roadways. And so I can tell you this, living two blocks from Route 57, on Saturdays and Sundays, I take great pride in my yard and my flowers, working in the yard, I'll hear fire trucks, ambulances, and then the worst thing I ever wanna hear on a Saturday or a Sunday is when a helicopter co comes over because the, air, the airport is here, but the uh, helicopter is going to the hospital, which is about a three quarters of a mile on the other side of, of the uh, 57. So 
that has happened on a regular basis because the 40,000 cars and vehicles we've talked about several times this, this morning, there's so, many, so much traffic, which is a good thing, but we need those two other lanes, north and south. So I appreciate the governor and his commitment. And you know, when Senator Fowler and I first heard about this, we learned uh, talking with Carrie Nelson and staff that the amount of time it was gonna take for this project to be completed. But with the new project that's going on now, instead of it being 20, 30 years, because I'm thinking, I'm 63, I'm gonna be, I won't even be able to probably drive by the time this thing's done. But uh, it's awesome that this is gonna be completed. And I'll tell you what I look forward to, I look forward to Saturdays and Sundays working in my yard and not hearing ambulances, not hearing fire trucks, and not hearing the worst thing is a helicopter coming to pick somebody up. So I appreciate you know, the commitment from the state of Illinois, from the governor's office and from all of you participating in this. It's uh, very important for Southern Illinois. And again, thank you very much. And I'm gonna turn this back. I wanna tell you one quick story, if you don't mind. So I'm 63, I have four older brothers and sisters. And when I was a little boy, 57 was actually being built, Governor. And so living here in Benton, I had one of my older brothers, him and his buddies, they uh, got permission from their parents and they went, they got their bicycles together. 57 was, it wasn't completely completed, but it was closed. They rode their bikes from Benton to Mount Vernon, and my parents, you would have thought they were going to the great Northwest. Everyone was worried. Of course, it was about 1965 or so. If those, any, I don't know if any of you remember that, but uh, of course, there were no cell phones or anything, and they were had their backpacks on. And so I think they got to about Ina, and they turned around and came home. They couldn't make it to Mount Vernon. But uh, just a little short story about maybe not mean much to you, but I'll never forget that. It was a big deal. These guys were riding their bikes to Mount Vernon on 57. They thought it was really cool because there was nobody riding on it yet. And I'm going to turn this back over to, uh, to the governor. And he said, well, Severin, you can take the questions if you want to, but you got to give the answers that I want. So in that case, I'm going to turn it back over to our governor, Pritzker. And thank you very much for coming to Benton, my hometown. All right, we don't want, Dave, we don't want you getting on a bike and going to Mount Vernon on I-57, so we're glad you're here. Happy to take any questions from members of the media. Or not, we can enjoy our morning. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. And while you're at it, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.